Hi everyone, it's Amber from The Sensible Mama. It is FYI Friday, and today I'm gonna go over three different types of cloth diapers. I've gotten a lot of questions about cloth diapering ever since I did um, a Five Ways Wednesday a couple of weeks ago about cloth diapering. And so I wanted to take a little time to show you guys what your options are in terms of cloth diapering. These are the three brands that I carry at The Sensible Mama. I carry these because I have used them all and I love them all. And what I like about these three options is that they sort of range all the way from being very, very close to disposable diapering to being full on cloth diapering. So I'm gonna start off by showing you the type of cloth diaper that is the closest to disposable. Then I'm gonna show you the full on cloth diaper. And then I'm gonna show you a diaper that is right in between those two and might be that sweet spot for those of you who are thinking about giving cloth diapering a try but haven't done it yet. The type of diapers that I believe are the closest to disposable diapering are these diapers called G-Pants. This is a two part system that comes with a cloth diaper cover as well as disposable inserts. All you have to do is pick what size your baby needs. They come in small, medium, and large. Once you have picked out the size and the colors that you want, all you have to do is add a pack of disposable inserts to your cart. Now, the cool thing about the inserts is they come in two sizes that span the full range of G-Pants diaper covers. Um, so there's one pack that has extra small and small inserts, and then the second pack, which is this one I'm showing you, that has medium large to extra large inserts. So what that means is the small and extra small insert pack can fit in the small and extra small um, G-Pants, and the pack that comes with the medium large and extra large size inserts can fit in the medium large and extra large sized G-Pants. When it's time for a diaper change, you can just pull the insert out, put it in the toilet and flush it, so again, here are those G-Pants that go with the G-Diaper system. These are a nice, soft cloth fabric. They are Velcro instead of snap like some of the other cloth diapers I've showed you. And on the inside, there is a PUL lining, which means this is water resistant, waterproof, and fully wipeable. So all that you do is you take this diaper, you put one of your inserts here in the PUL lining. When it's time for a diaper change, all you do is unsnap this white PUL lined insert holder and remove it from your cloth diaper. Put the insert into the toilet. Then you can take this, wipe it down just with a baby wipe or a wet washcloth, snap it back into your diaper, add a new insert and you're ready to go. They say that you can use each one of these G-Pants about three times. So you're getting a lot of usage out of the G-Pants diaper cover, which is really, really nice. And then you're just flushing those inserts that go on the inside. All right, so that was the cloth diaper that is the closest to disposable diapering, in my opinion. Now I'm going to show you a closer look at the Rumperoo's pocket diaper. This is what I showed you in my last two videos, but I had a few questions about how this system actually works, so I wanna go ahead and show you. When you buy a Rumperoo's cloth diaper, you get two things that come in the pack. The first thing that you get is a one size fits all pocket diaper, and I'm gonna open this up and show you what this looks like on the inside. And then you get two inserts that come with the diaper. The first one is a small insert. This would be if you're using the pocket diaper on the smallest setting, or this would be something that you would add over top of the other insert for a little bit extra absorption. The second insert is much bigger, and it actually has a couple of different settings. So you can use it on the longest setting if you have a big baby who is wearing the cloth diaper on the biggest setting, or you can fold it over. So this puts it in a medium setting that gives a little bit a smaller insert and also gives more protection down here where you have the fold. So again, this is the one size fits all pocket diaper. You have four snap closures here on the front. And so to get the diaper on and off, you just undo those snaps. They do become easier to snap and unsnap over time. Here's what the inside of the diaper looks like. And you have a pocket up top and this is where you stuff the diaper. So you just take your insert and you stuff it down into the diaper like so. And you have a diaper that is totally ready to go. Now, this diaper is currently set on the smallest setting um, lengthwise. So I can actually unsnap this. 
And with it unsnapped all the way, I'm using this on the largest size. As you can see, these snaps go all the way down to here. And this is how you resize the diaper according to your baby's size. The way that you size the waist is simply by folding this part around your baby, and then you snap it wherever it uh, makes it tight on your baby's little waist. So my son is right about here right now. So he wears his where you can just barely see the tabs on either side. But when you have the newborn setting on and you have a tiny little baby, you'll probably be using those snaps all the way together in the middle to make it look about like this. When it's time for a diaper change, all you do is remove the diaper, pull the insert out, make sure that if you have this part snapped, you unsnap it so that the entire thing can get clean, and then you toss both the pocket diaper and the insert into your pail liner to wait until laundry day. Unlike the G diapers, this pocket insert is not reusable, so that means with every diaper change you are getting a new pocket diaper out, putting an insert in it, and putting it on your baby. Alright, so like I said, I was going to show you the one type of cloth diaper that is the closest to disposable diapering, that was the G diapers, and then I showed you a kind of cloth diaper that is the full-on style of cloth diapering, and then I told you I was going to show you something in the middle. And that's this diaper right here. This is called the Best Bottom Diaper, and I am really, really loving this diaper. This is also a two-part system, and it kind of has all the benefits of the G diapers, as well as all of the benefits of the pocket diapers that I just showed you, without really having any of the drawbacks of either. So just like with the G pants, what you do is buy cloth diaper covers that are separate from the inserts. You do not get inserts when you buy one of these diapers. These are very cost effective because all this is is basically just a shell, same as the G diapers were. Much like the Rumparoos diaper, you do have a one size fits all system so that you can change the size of your diaper. But unlike the Rumparoos diaper that you have to wash with each diaper change, this one is much like the G diaper in that you can reuse the shell and just put a new insert in it. All you have to do is pick the insert size that best fits with the size of setting that you're using on the diaper. And these inserts come with little snaps on the back just like this. And all you do is snap the insert into the diaper. So this is very similar to the G pants in that you have a removable insert, but it's also a lot like the Rumparoos diaper um, in that this is not a disposable insert, you do have to wash it. However, you can keep reusing this shell. All you do is take the insert out, wipe it down with a wipey, and put a new insert inside of there. So I gotta tell you, I'm really, really loving this diapering system right now. You kinda get the best of both worlds. You get to choose what kind of inserts that you want. I like the Stay Dry insert. It's just a thicker, more absorbent kind of insert that I like to use overnight. We also carry a bamboo insert as well, and those are actually really, really nice too. When trying to decide what size insert that you want, there is some sizing on the packaging here, so it tells you, based on how much your baby weighs, which insert you might need. But if you're unsure about which size you need, I would say always go with the medium-sized insert, because the medium can actually fit inside of this diaper shell, um, no matter what setting that you have it on. You can always start with the medium insert and see how that works for you, and then if you need to adjust, you can just adjust. So I'm gonna have to wrap this up because my son is waking up from his nap and by the sound of it, he is not in a good mood. So let me just really, really quickly go over each one of these so that you're really clear on how each one works. The G diaper is a reusable cloth diaper with a disposable insert. The Best Bottom diaper also has a reusable outer shell, but instead of a disposable insert, it actually uses a washable insert, but you can use multiple inserts inside the shell before it's time to wash the shell. The Rumparoos pocket diaper comes with two inserts in the packaging, so you don't have to worry about buying inserts or figuring out what size you need or anything like that. The insert and the pocket diaper have to be washed, and you cannot use this diaper multiple times. Best benefit of the G diaper, I believe, is that it's the closest to disposable diapering and you don't have to worry about getting your hands dirty. The best benefit of the pocket diaper is that it's best for the environment and probably the most cost effective. And the greatest thing about the best bottom diaper is that you get the benefits of both with kind of the downfalls of neither. 
So I hope you guys found that helpful. I hope that this helps you get a better idea of what kind of cloth diaper you might like to try if you're interested in starting cloth diapering. And even if you've been cloth diapering for a long time, it's always a good idea to try a new system of diapering anyway. I've just started using the Best Bottom diapers. I've always been a pocket diaper girl, but now that I'm using these, I'm really starting to love them and I imagine I'm gonna start incorporating them into my cloth diaper stash. Thank you so much, you guys. If you wanna make sure you keep seeing content like this, please subscribe to my channel by clicking this button right here. And you can always check out the videos that are going to pop up at the end screen. I hope you all have a wonderful weekend and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.